Hey guys, my name's Hutch, and I make Call of Duty videos, and I put them on the internet. And today, I have a flawless game of Free For All on Hanoi. <laughs> that, was, that was my new voice. Did you guys like it? That was my first time trying it. I think I probably won't use it again, but... Um, and I'm using the Python as a secondary, and I probably use it a lot, because that's what a fucking sidearm is for. Last time I checked. What? You got something to, something to say about that? I'm kidding, totally kidding, but a lot of people give me grief because they want to see more sniping gameplay. And a lot of people say that they wish that I didn't use my my sidearm so much. And I kind of scratch my head when I see stuff like that because I'm like, wait a second, I thought that's what it's there for. <laughs> I could be mistaken, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure they put them in the game so that you would use it when the time was appropriate. And if I'm close range with someone, I'm going to use my sidearm because in this game, you can't quickscope. Even after the patch... You can't really quick scope. You can within like maybe 10 feet. Like maybe 10 feet. You might want to go for like one quick scope. And then after that, it's a way better idea to pull out your sidearm and see if you can pick a couple people off that way. And uh, that kind of ties into what I want to talk about today, which is the fact that um, if I state an opinion on something, I don't expect everybody to agree with me, and I'm not trying to not not trying to change anybody's mind. It's just unavoidable that with like a channel, <clears throat> channel that's pretty big like mine, if I say something, a lot of people are going to latch on to that, and then flame wars erupt all over the place. Like a uh, small beans friend yesterday posted a little mini taj called Grizz with Jizz, and basically in every single one of his clips except for maybe one he was losing, uh, and like running past B flags and things like that, and a lot of people trolled him in the comments. No, I don't think that's right. Um, even though I don't particularly care for montages like that, I'm not going to show up in the comments and be like, yo, bro, you really got to jump on that B-flag. Come on, let's step up your game a little bit. No, my, my, what I choose to do in that situation is what I would encourage everybody in here to do in that situation, which is don't watch the video. Or if you, f you find out 30, you know, 15, 30 seconds into it, that it's that sort of montage and you're like me and, and that just doesn't really float your boat, then simply click away. You don't have to like dislike the video. You don't have to leave a, a nasty comment. Because no matter what, like, people do YouTube Call of Duty stuff for fun and that's that's how this guy has fun and um, and if that's how he's having fun, then that's fine. That's what he does. Just because he doesn't think like me doesn't mean I have to hate him or have a spiteful feeling toward, feelings towards him or whatever. I'm totally transparent with you guys. Like, I talk about if I have an opinion on something, chances are you guys will hear about it because I don't know. That's sort of just how I've always done things around here. If, if there's something to talk about, then I would talk about it and I would be super honest. Even if I thought that it might offend people, that's okay. It's okay to offend people if you're, as long as you're telling the truth and it's not mean spirited, it's totally fine to, to, to say how you feel about, about everything. And, and like, just for transparency's sake, let me just clarify one more time. Like, I don't like a lot of montages these days. I don't. I'm not saying that like, oh, mine are ten times better. It's not about that. Like, I don't make a montage to compete with people. I do it because it's fun, and that's the same reason why a trick shotter makes a montage because it's fun. That's how they have fun with the game. Um, where I'm coming from is I, I fucking can't stand the fact that. A lot of montages completely forsake good Call of Duty gameplay for the sake of that good, that big shot, that beast shot, the ladder stall, or the, the no scope across the map. Like a montage should ideally show good Call of Duty, that's the whole point of a montage. If you were showing bad Call of Duty, that wouldn't be a montage, that would be a failtage, or at least a bad montage. So I'm not sure what the, the point of, of showing bad Call of Duty is, and if you're completely ignoring how you're supposed to be playing the game, or maybe not how you're supposed to be playing the game, but the objective of whatever game type it is that you're playing, the what business does that have in a montage? That's what I don't understand. And that's it's the same kind of logic. Those people those are the same kind of people that criticize me for using my pistol too much. Even though you can't even though quick scoping is completely unproductive in this game and it's not really gonna get you anywhere. Like and on top of that, sniping wasn't nerfed in the beta. In the beta about fifty trick shot guys jumped in there and tried to capture elite footage for their montage. So they could be the first Black Ops montage and get a gajillion views. And then uh, two weeks later, the sniping got nerfed. So how do you think it got nerfed? <laughs> Even with me saying all that, I don't, I don't think that everybody has to think like I do. And if you don't think like I do, that's fine. Like, 
All you gotta do is not watch this video, for example. Or maybe not leave flame on anybody's channel. There's no point. There's no point. Just make a video and have fun with it, and, uh, and that's that. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Happy holidays.